What's up, all bunch? It's Hylian J. Pierce, and I'm bringing you my second attempt at a video related to merch. Now, unfortunately, it was going to be an unboxing video of just one of the certain items, but unfortunately, my camera that I am recording on likes to hate me and decided to cut everything except for the first 18 seconds, which was like three failed intro attempts. So, anyway, we're back again. Like, we never left, because technically for you guys, I never did. Now, today I want to at least show off the merch that I bought from one of my favorite Webtoon series. And it's about time I talk about this webcomic again while I'm gearing up before I'm doing Lovebot Season 1 review. Uh, Brimstone and Roses by Experiment. Now, I got a couple things from... Brimstone and Roses, because I was waiting for years since I started reading the comic back in, I think it was November 2019 when it started coming out. But I've been a reader of Brimstone and Roses since it hit originals. I'd, so, I've been waiting for merch to drop for a long time. I like Webtoon merch. As I don't know if y'all can tell, I have a whole wall of this shit. <laughs> There's even more stickers off camera and off to the side over there, but, you know, we're just gonna... We're gonna keep those over there since some of those are not exactly a SFW and, you know... I, I do love Webtoon merch. I've done videos and... Well... Uh, I think the proper term is a simp for Webtoon. But today I wanted to show off a couple of the cute things I got. And... Starting with... I got the ginger hat off of Spearmint's... Now, hopefully, I'm just going to double check here to make sure my thing's still recording. Okay, we are good. So we're starting with the ginger ski, ski cap, beanie, however you call it, whatever you call it. Now, I got this along with another beanie from another webtoon, but that'll be for later. You'll see that in a different video. Uh, but I got the ginger beanie. It is very comfortable. Uh, it does get... <laughs> hair in it easily. Not not human hair, I'm talking like your, your pet hair, and that's... I, I should have known having... I've already had to take a lint roll for this three times because I have three Dalmatians at my house. <laughs> Lord help me, they're all still puppies. But anyway, it is very comfortable, and I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the video. So, uh, next up, because I I do have stickers over here, and I'm gonna just swivel my camera here. They're right there, as you can see, there's B, Les, and Alex. Now, oh, hang on a second. Uh, totally unprofessional YouTuber has to fix his entire freaking camera setup mid-recording. This is fun! I did get two little acrylic charms. Now, hopefully... Hang on, so let me just... Can I, can I auto-focus this, like... Mm, Oh, I can. Okay. I was like, let me just... No, that's... There we go. Somewhat. I got two acrylic charms. I got the B and the Les acrylic charms from the series. They are very cute, and even their little class is a little, little cat there. I like to pretend it's Meow Jean. So, you know, it's... <laughs> But anyway, they, they do have a little bit of a... It's not really showing up on the camera very well here, but... Oh, there we go. They are very... They do have a... A bit of razzle-dazzle... Glitter on them, and this is... Oh my gosh, this is a horror... My camera is wanting to fight me tooth and nail on everything today. So you see, they do have... A little glitter on them. And then next up, I did buy, in fact, if I can zoom out here. Eh, I did get an art print from the series, which is going to go on the massive wall you saw earlier. I just have to get a frame for it, which means I'm going to have to make a run to Walmart for frames. We all know how, how fun run, runs to Walmart are. And then... My last piece of BNR merch I got. There's only a hundred. I believe there's only a hundred of these or so in existence, plus like a couple testing ones. But I got the last plush. This thing is so damn cute and was so worth the wait. 
It is very sturdy. It is very soft and fluffy. The tie is even separate from the body, which is <laughs> cute as hell. Very good attention to detail. Even the even the tail, it moves around. You know, the white dots with the eyes. Even the hair, the hair, the, even the hair moves. Now I will, I do have the the card of the creator here. I'm gonna put. The, I will be putting their links in the description. As always, and making sure you guys read Brimstone Roses as well. I'm sorry, I just totally accidentally dropped that. But anyway, um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if I can get this thing to focus here, that would be fantastic. Alright, with that being said, I hope I'm in focus for this. If not, don't worry, there's probably going to be an end screen stuff going up right here. That is it for this video. Please make sure you go read Brimstone and Roses by Spearman. Links to the White Squirrel and the Crowd Maid where you can find these items, except for the last plush, obviously, which there will, I believe, be a bee campaign plush coming sometime within the next 10 years or so, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't like to pressure artists. <laughs> I, like, I like to sit and wait because I, I, you know, artist mental health is important. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you all next time, hopefully with, well, if you're here for the webtoon content, there will be more webtoon content later, there's going to be probably a couple skits and whatnot coming, but anyway with that, thank you all so much for a fantastic 2021 so far, it has meant the world to me, we hit our sub goal of 340 about like last week or so, which means 350 subscribers is the goal by the end of 2022, and uh, I hope, hope you guys are for, along for the ride. Anyway, make sure you go read Brimstone Roses on Webtoon. All of Spearman's links will be in the description, and I hope she visits my Animal Crossing Island after this.